Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tina. Just giving you guys a quick update of how our beautiful little sheep is going in her training. We have decided to name her Delilah. So um, we are still having to chase her down to get her. Um, but once we get her, uh, she's doing a little bit better on the lead. Not 100%, she still doesn't like it. But um, we fixed the neck hole in the stanchion and adjusted that so now we can fit her in there and lock her in. So that was really helpful when she realized that she really couldn't go anywhere. She started to kind of calm down. So just wanted to show you guys the progress that we made with her. So let's see if we can catch her. Okay, so I lie. <laughs> I digress. So. As I've told you guys, she thinks that the ducks are her people. So normally all we have to do is get the ducks pinned in a corner and she follows them and then we can trap her and catch her. But she has learned our trick. So we just spent about 10 minutes chasing her around the yard and trying to catch her and eventually we did. Um, but she is not a happy camper right now. So consistency is key and a routine is key with any farm animals, cows, Sheep, it doesn't matter. Routine is something that's really important if you're trying to train them to do something. So we're just gonna be consistent and continue to come out here and work with her every day. Hey, Delilah. <laughs> so once she calms down, she does start to eat the corn. But right now, she's just kind of in disbelief that we've caught her once again. It's all right, Mama. So, <clears throat> what we've been doing is just been putting her on the stanchion, uh, brushing her out, giving her some corn as a treat, and then I just come up behind her and I just rub on her udder for a little bit, and she doesn't like it. But this is the only way to get her used to being touched back here. So you'll see what I mean in five, four, three, two. <laughs> oh, it's okay, girl. Oh, it's okay. I know, I know. You're all right. You're all right. Good girl. Oh, that's a good mama. Oh, that's a good mama. So this is actually a lot calmer than yesterday, huh, Joe? Yesterday, y'all, I thought she was going to break the stanchion. She did not like me touching her down here. This is a lot calmer than yesterday. So I'm just letting her feel my hands. She's looking back here. She's like, what are you doing back there? But I'm just rubbing on her udder. Just feeling on her little teats. Letting her get used to that feeling. Hi, girl. See? That way she'll know what I'm doing when I go to milk her the first time. And after we do this routine for a while and she becomes calm, which she's actually doing excellent today, then I will bring out a warm wash rag, um, wet wash rag, and, and clean her udder so that she can get used to what that feels like also. That's a good girl. That's a good mama. You're doing so good today. Yeah. That's a good girl, Delilah. Yeah, my hands are cold, aren't they? I know it. I'm sorry. I do apologize for that. Good girl. Good mama. You're, you're all right. You're all right. That's a good girl. Wow, Joe, that is like night and day from yesterday. Mm -hmm. My name puts my extenders on these rails. For what? Yeah, that would be nice. So Joe's saying what we might do is put some extenders on these rails. Um, because right now there's such a gap here that she's really able to shift around a lot. And right now it's not a big deal, but when I'm milking her, 
you know, I don't want her kicking over the little bucket. But yes, Joe, that's true. Once she gets used to it, she probably won't be as shifty. So I know I gotta warn you before I come in and start touching you again, huh? Yeah, good girl. Good mama. Good mama. Good. Those little teats. Those definitely aren't cow teats, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, I know, I know, I know. Good girl. All right, all right, little mama. Good girl. Good. Has she eaten any corn yet? Huh? Yeah, see, it tastes good, huh? <laughs> yeah, look, it's right here. It's right here. She's just gone. Yeah. She's like, no, I won't take it. You can't make me. <laughs> no. So we're gonna put a little bowl up here on the counter. Um, we just haven't done it yet because we had to make some adjustments to the neck piece. And we had to lower the counter so that she can, you know, eat it easier when she's in there. Hi, that's a good girl. Yeah. Back up, she You're okay. You're all right. You're okay. No, you can't get out. You can't get out, so don't hurt yourself trying. I know, she's like, is it time to go yet? Is it over? That's a good mama. You did good, Delilah. Even though you made me and Joe work out today. <laughs> There's a spot under the back deck with lattice and the birds, the chickens and ducks like to hide under there and it's just high enough that Delilah likes to hide in there too. So she tried to go in there and Joe had to go in and get her. Oh, does that feel good? Does that feel good? Are you still mad at me? Mm -hmm. Are you still mad? Are you still mad? someday, huh? Not yet. Is it too soon? That's a good girl. She looks so sweet when she's looking at my face like that. <laughs> oh, you're a good girl, Delilah. I know. Well, let's see if I'm going to do it right. She's been trying to turn around in the stanchion and go out that way, which Joe, I think that'll be better too once we make it more narrow. So I'm gonna try to see if I can get her to back out of it today. Good girl. Come on. Come on. Come on. If you get her to the edge, she can turn around right now. Good girl. Good girl. She's ready to fight Ollie. Good girl, Delilah. See, good girl. Yeah. She's like, where's my duckies at? Oh, she is. Look at her, Joe. She's like, where'd they go? Where's your ducks, mama? Oh, she's 
she found the corn. Well, that was fun. So Delilah is doing well and we will just continue working with her. And then hopefully very soon, we're gonna have some little lambs here on the property. Um, and maybe some fresh sheep milk if we can, uh, if we're successful with training her. So thanks you guys for hanging out with us today and we will see you soon.